From ribbon cutting ceremonies to cutting edge field, the new stadium renovation process included the installation of the new turf field, a rubberized eight lane track, aluminum bleachers with the press box, new lights, new sound system, a new ticket booth, and an expansion of the parking lot. It came out beautiful and, and uh, now we're fortunate in the city of Marble, this is our second turf facility. We're working on our third turf facility. And it's all about the uh, recreation and, and facilities for the kids. As the mayor said, we've been putting a lot of work and money and effort into our recreation facilities for the kids. And this will not only be for the kids here at Assabit, for, but for the kids who will come from all over the state to participate. And I'm sure what events you'll be holding here in the future. So it's just another gem in the city of Marlboro. From ribbon cutting ceremony to cutting edge field, not only is it a track and field with a turf, it has a rubber track with eight lanes, allowing it to be used for statewide track meets. It has a lot more to offer, and I met with a superintendent to find out what that was. Brand technical schools are always known for their technical programs and what we do with that, but we do offer uh, activities to create a well-rounded student. And I think uh, the Sassabit Stadium project really um, uh, solidifies um, our commitment to making sure that we do produce a well-rounded student um, and it will you know benefit our phys physical education classes as well as the football team track soccer uh, in the future we're looking at potentially uh, having lacrosse games on this as well uh, we will look to see uh, and utilize how um, the stadium project will be able to benefit our community partners as well um, I know we've had folks from MIAA from the you know, for state track meets have been by to see the facility already and it's only really a week old. Uh, so we're very excited of, uh, you know, what the, what the stadium means to the community and to Aspen. Zoe Zandora, WMCT News.